One thing that's happening right now is that uh, all of a sudden, old traditions that we worked with for a long time, that were valid for a long time, are being reversed. One example is the car business, Tesla and now Toyota. I think it's Toyota, right, the example. To where they all of a sudden said, okay, we're getting into electric cars because that is the future. It's painful to realize this after you have all these big gas guzzling BMWs. Now it's electric cars. So these companies have said, what we're going to do is we're going to publish all the patents, all the trademarks that we have, and we're going to give them away to people who want to build batteries and electric cars because, and this is very American, of course, the rising tide floats all boats. In Germany, they would prefer a, prefer a river that floats their boat. Right? It's just a comparison of culture, of how we look at things. Right? So now this, these people have reversed. They have spent billions of dollars on, on patents to come up with better batteries. Every month there's a new innovation. And now they're going to give them away for free. Billions of dollars. Think about that with the pharma business, you know. Medications, Pfizer, Novartis. This is the worst fight in the world are about those patents. Every country in the world from Brazil to India is fighting those patents, right? The reverse. So, in many ways, when you think about what you do, can you reverse one of those assumptions? And start things from, from scratch. Tesla is now selling five times as many luxury cars in the US than Mercedes and BMW combined. I don't know how long they have to keep up. You know, they're going to have to really perform to make that work in the long run. Of course, there's on, you know, in Silicon Valley, there's one on every parking lot. But so reversing assumptions. You know, HBO in the US, the, the cable TV chain, they said for a long time, you're not going to be able to watch HBO over the internet. Because if you do that, you don't buy cable. And you do have to spend the 100 quid to get cable to get HBO. I think the same deal here, right, basically. Now, four weeks, and we discussed, I, I discussed with all these guys years ago the, the fallacy of this idea that you can coerce people because you know what they do is they just find the movie somewhere else. Right? It's not hard. Right? Or you get an IP tunnel to be on Netflix or whatever. Right? So they decided in their wisdom four, four weeks ago or so to put HBO on the Internet. You can watch HBO on the Internet now right? because they had to reverse the assumption. The assumption was, if we, do, if we do this, we lose the cable guys. But turns out, if we don't do it, we lose everything. And this is the thing about beliefs and ethics. Sometimes it's good to take a step back and say, if I didn't believe this, what would I do? If I didn't believe this was so true, could I find something that is actually happening? This is a very hard thing to do because it splits your mind in two halves. Think about what could be if you believed it to be different. 